It's the coach. Welcome to the special Saturday edition of the NFL on EA Sports. On tap is what should be a pretty good matchup between the Washington Redskins and the Cincinnati Bengals. With that, let's get up to Paul Brown Stadium in Cincinnati. For the call, we bring in our broadcast team, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Coach, it's the NFL on EA Sports, and there you get a look at Paul Brown Stadium on the banks of the Ohio River in Cincinnati. The enthusiasm of this Cincinnati crowd in full effect a moment ago as their Bengals took the field to the delight of this sold-out crowd, and they're all set as they'll match up with the Washington Redskins. And hi again, everybody. Alongside my partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, when you and I were going through our final run-throughs at breakfast, we kept thinking tonight we're going to get to see a couple of very good passing offenses. And we're talking about both sides having multiple receivers that could have an impact on this game. It's not just one guy that's going to make all the plays. If you take him away, maybe number two, number three, they make the big plays that impact who wins the game. Play fake here on first down. This one complete to Jordan Reed. And he's brought down after a good gain. A really nice gain of 25 yards. I do believe we'll see a little bit more of this as this game progresses because when you can have that type of a gain in the middle of the defense, it hurts them in so many ways because most teams like to be strong down the middle. And if you can sting them there, that opened things up for you on the outside as well. But that's where he, their big tight end, is so good. That middle third, the seam routes, the in routes. Yeah, you're right. Probably see more of that. Yeah, it takes a lot of courage and fortitude to go in the middle as well. <laughs> and he's got it. From the 50, it's Smith. Dumps it off for Geis. And this time, he's able to take it down to the 42. It'll be a gain of eight yards, and it'll be a second down. He felt the pressure coming there. That was a good job of just making something out of nothing, so to speak. Yeah, it took the hit and still made the play. You know, when we talk about runners, all right, and on running plays, runs after contact, we call that getting dirty yards, tough, gritty ones. To me, that's like the version of a dirty pass. He knows he's going to get smacked, yet still delivers the football and picks up. The Bengal pressure gets him that time. Down he goes. Michael Johnson. In there to bring him down for a loss of seven. Boy, he came in off the edge so quickly there. Look out, because that's exactly what it was being shouted by the offensive lineman to his quarterback because he had no chance to block him. Back. They've got to be prepared to break routes off early and get the football. In this case, 
Ah, uh, never even had a chance. They popped the ball free in the backfield. Now this Bengals offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. This is Joe Mixon, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Wow, that play got shut down in a hurry. As soon as the snap came, you could see defensively they were just closing in. That was going nowhere. Yeah, you count on your offensive line to give you a little bit of space, a little bit of time so you can make a move. There was none there for him. Mixon and able to push his way forward here for a good little game. Four yards on the pickup there, and now they're left with a third and eight. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again, go play action, hit them over the top. Third down, a shot here for Dalton. Looking for his tight end, Eifert, and it's intercepted. Picked off near the 34, and his crew will take over with a football at the 35-yard line. Yeah, he's just trying to throw this ball into the hole in the zone, but those windows can open and close quickly, especially in the middle of the field. So if the timing's not right, we'll see interceptions like that one right there. Now the Redskins offense, they get set to go back to work here. And they got across the 50 last time, but fumbled and turned it over, so they'll be looking to have a short-term memory here, Mr. Davis. Not only a short-term memory, but a whole lot better ball security. Because if they take care of the ball, continue to move it, their chances of scoring some points, they've got to feel pretty good about. They thought they had things moving in the right direction last time. Fumbles, they don't just affect you on offense, they affect your overall team because now your defense has to make that stand up. And the big boys up front in the trenches, what do you think of the O-line, Charles? I love them because this is a group that's so cohesive. They know what the man next to them is going to do at all times, and they operate as a terrific unit. They stay on the ground, Geis again. And that didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped in the backfield. It's a loss of two, now third down. Now oh, that play was doomed right from the start. They just about ran into every defender on that one, didn't he? It felt like everyone got a piece of that tackle. Third down, Smith fighting through pressure. But he can't get away forever, and down he goes. Carl Lawson able to drop him for a loss of two, and that'll bring up fourth down. And that is the third sack this offensive line has allowed in this first quarter. Yeah, that puts him on pace. Let me do the rudimentary math here. To be sacked 12 times in a game, I know he's not going to go for that. I wonder if it's going to reshape what they decide to do on offense in terms of play calling. Uh, I can tell you what, when he popped up, shaking his head, frustrated right now behind center. This is taken at about the 14. Oh, a heck of a move. Man. So a turnover-filled first quarter of play comes to an end. Can't wait to see what the second quarter has in store. We'll return to Cincinnati after this. The NFL on EA Sports is fueled by Gatorade, the sports fuel company. Alongside Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon, and it's the Bengals with a football to begin quarter number two as they take over following the punt with a first and ten. So here's Dalton and the Bengals now, first and ten at their own 24. Now a first carry for Giovanni Bernard, and he'll get this one up to the 26. Two yards on the carry there, it'll be second down. 
Well, he was looking for some running room, and there wasn't a whole lot of it there on that play. I think he was lucky to get a couple of yards out of it because those defenders, they were rallying to the football pretty quickly. They keep it on the ground. This time it's Nixon. And not a whole lot doing there as he'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. Just a gain of a yard there, and now it'll be third down. Some of these play calls, I think they're a little conservative, but you know me because it's easy to sit up in this booth, right, and make all the calls and, and think I'm going to be correct. But I would like to see them open things up because otherwise this defense is going to gang up on the run and set them down. Throwing, Dalton, Eifert has it. And they're going to get this one all the way out across the 45. A good pick up there of 20 yards. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. They'll run him now out of the gun. And very little running room there. He did get a couple up to the 49. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. Dalton throwing on second down. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here. He throws it away. And now it's third. The one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown him a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after him. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight to throw on third down. Dalton, and that is incomplete. He's thrown one interception already, and that doesn't necessarily mean the rest of the game is going to go like that. But it does seem that he's a little bit off in his approach to this one. Yeah, it does. And that was a risky throw right there. Got to be careful about taking care of the ball, making sure you get back within yourself. I mean, those mechanics that they work on all the time, offense. they're there for a reason. Kind of get back to those and maybe tamp it down a little bit. And that'll set him back five. Still fourth down. So on fourth down, on comes the left-footed punter, Kevin Huber, to punt it away. Back deep for the Redskins, Jamison Crowder. So out now come the Redskins. And the results for them have not been strong to this point. Two drives have ended in a turnover and then a punt. So would it be too snarky for me to say that they've shown improvement? Because you had two, two drives with turnovers. <laughs> now they punted it away, so at least they didn't turn it over. So that's good, right? You're going to get some angry users <laughs> reaching out to you on social media. Well, I don't mean to be. I was actually looking for the positive. Silver lining, you know. On first down, it's Smith. And that's incomplete. I tell you, Brandon, this defense is playing with some confidence. Haven't allowed a point yet. Flying to the football. I'm telling you, it's almost 11 to the ball on every snap. Another nice job there to force an incompletion. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Second and ten, Smith. And his throw's going to be incomplete. They were trying to get it there to Josh Doxson. And that'll make it third down. When I watched that play, I thought about what my coaches had told me in the past. The biggest teaching point, get your head around. Locate the football so you can make a play on it while it's in the air. That's exactly what he did there. That was nice. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions.
Now Smith to throw on third down. And now the ball's loose. Smith loses it. And he will score. Touchdown, Cincinnati. Second time he's lost a fumble. This one hurts more. It's returned for six. He's been under a lot of duress, hasn't he? Pressure, hurry, harassed the whole game. Well, the offensive line not giving him a lot of help. Not a lot of help, but the bottom line, he's got to take care of the football. On for the point after is Randy Bullock. Extra point up and good by Bullock, and it's now a 7 0 game. The scoop and score, always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. So here's the kickoff now as they'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. Here's Harris to return it. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Redskins offense now, they head back onto the field. And they've got to be still reeling from the events of a moment ago. What a turn on that last play. You're knocking on the door. You're about to take it in. You think you're going to get some points on the board. Instead, you cough it up and watch them take it the rest of the way to the opposite end zone. That's a two-score swing that you just gave up. here on first down and it pops free the collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down seems like this defense especially the secondary has really been contesting about every throw in this first half remind me of a good half court defensive basketball team every time a pass is thrown they're right there in good, good defensive position able to affect the play so after the incompletion on first now second and ten to the air Smith on second down and this time he's got the hook up it's complete six yards is the pickup and that'll lead to a third down they had the catch on second down but it didn't help at all and now they're looking at third down here two minutes to play here in the first half we'll come back to Cincinnati after this A reminder, coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will join us from Orlando with our halftime report, but business to take care of before we get there. A two-minute drill before the coach's two-minute drill. From the gun on third down, Smith. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. He came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. Here's Tressway now. On for his second punt. He'd take a repeat of his first. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. And that is much too long. That's into the end zone for a touchback. The Bengal offense now gets set to head back out onto the field. And things haven't started so well for this side. Two drives, two punts. So now you've got to start looking not just at play calling, but which guy's going to step forward and say, okay, let's get this thing done. Because within that unit of 11, sometimes one guy can make a big-time play and break through the barrier. A first down throw coming for Dalton. And he's got the hook up to Brandon LaFell. So a good spin move there before he's taken down. A nice little game. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. So second in inches after that first down completion went just shy of the marker. Lee. 
It's second down. Dalton looking. Jarring it loose. It's incomplete. Anytime a defense can sit back in a zone like that, it tends to create a lot of congestion in the middle of the field. Makes it very hard to slot one in. Looked like I-4 at rush hour in your hometown of Orlando, Florida. An absolute mess. The offense on third down tonight, just one for three thus far. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. Dalton dumps it off to Mixon. And he gets it to the 32. Good enough for first down. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive going. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, a ball may come your way. Dalton, first and ten. Territory. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. So the offense took the timeout. Looks like they're ready to go as we get set to resume the action. First and ten for Dalton. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. That's very well timed there defensively because it's not a bad throw, but the collision came at the exact time he was reaching to bring in the football. Really, really well done. Decent offense, just better defense. I think you're right. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. <laughs> Passing again. Dalton on second and ten. And over the middle, it's LaFell. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. And we're back. The offense had a chance to talk things over. We'll see what they come up with here on this next play. Andy Dalton now 5 out of 10, 50% throwing it. Not so hot, but he does have a first down. Off the play fake to Mixon. This is Dalton. And he's going to go down. They get to him back at the 40. Ryan Kerrigan in there to sack him for a loss of six. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. Dalton sets up play action. Green with a catch left side. First half is winding down, and the Bengals are able to grow their lead. And that'll give them a two-score lead here, but I'm looking ahead. They just want to hold it for the final moments here of the second quarter. They don't want to give up anything on the other side. No, not at all, because if they don't, it almost had the feel of an imposing their will score. And right now, they want to make sure they keep that and tear it into the second half. Now Bullock to add the extra point. Bullock good on the extra point, and that'll make the score 14 to zip. So that drive in total eight plays, and it ends with a Bengals score. Bullock out now to kick this one away. Here's Harris to return it. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line.
Now a play fake. Hit it, Smith. Trying to lay one up deep. That's caught inside the 20. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. So we're back in the offense getting set following the call of that timeout. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. From the left hand. This from 34. And Hopkins' kick is good. And they will get themselves on the board here at 14 to 3. So the three points here, they're still down, but they put somewhat of a dent into that lead going into the break. Anything helps when you're trying to chip away at a lead, but they do know that they're going to need a little bit better effort in the second half. So as it turns out, a two-play drive resulting in the field goal. The following the made field goal for three. Hopkins now to kick it off. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. With time running down, they go down to a knee. So we've reached halftime here in the Queen City, and it's the Bengals leading this one. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to an abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. We want to remind you that new this year in regular season games, I'll take you around the NFL and give you stats and scores from games in progress, as well as look back at games that have already been completed. So keep an eye out for that. But for now, let's get you back out to Brandon and Charles. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Bengal offense now with a football first here to begin quarter number three. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. On first and ten, here's Andy Dalton. Got his man, it's Eifert. And they're able to get this one across the 35. It's a Bengal first down, a pickup of 11. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Mixon with a first down carry. And he puts his head down and gets up to the 42 for a gain of about six. Third quarter and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. Don't not play action. Rush coming and he's taken down. Preston Smith. Leading the surge there, he drops in for a loss of six. 
They need to stop to get back into this game, and here's one right to start the third quarter. Yeah, anytime you go to the lockers with that two, three score deficit, you're right. You need that stop, get the football back, and they've done just that. Series to series, play to play. So the sack, and now it's third and long for Dalton and the Bengals. Eight, eight. Out of the gun, it's Dalton. He's got his man, boy. The 21 yards there as they convert on third. Nice completion there for Andy Dalton. And Charles, you worked some of his games when he was at TCU. Now you've worked his games in the NFL. What progression have you seen? I've seen a guy who took over as a freshman in college and got better and better each year. Always added a little bit more to his game, got stronger. But the best part about him is he's always been accurate. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. In trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. Second down, Dalton. And a right side completion here by LaFell. And he's going to get this inside the 30. A Bengal first down, Dalton hitting LaFell. Play fake here on first down. Oh, he's got a little daylight. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. Well, he did a nice job keeping his eyes downfield, waiting for someone to get open. But once the pressure forced his eyes down to see the rush, it was time to make a break for it. Took till the second half, but finally a red zone opportunity here. They have a first and 10 at the 18. They'll go option to the short side. And they'll get him down right around the 16. Give him three on the keeper there, and it is second down. And third quarter here, you've got the lead. This is where that strong run game can really benefit you. Stayed in bounds there, kept the clock going. I like all the points you just made there. And if you throw the football and it's incomplete, now you've stopped the clock and you've helped out the guys on the other side of the ball. So keep it in the hands of those runners. Keep moving it. Keep grinding the clock. Looking to throw on second down. Dalton. And he just chucked that one out of bounds, out of everyone's reach. Maybe a wise call not to take a sack in this part of the field. It brings up third down. What's the old adage? Be quick, but don't hurry. Well, that went right out the window there. He was hurried, harassed. <laughs> that ball had to be gotten rid of. Otherwise, he was going to get sacked. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Passing. It's Dalton. And he's wrapped up. Taken down, back at the 25. Preston Smith in there to drop him for his second sack now here tonight. They've been moving the ball well offensively, really getting into a groove. Last play, pass completion. Now, finally, the defense gets there. And you have to find a way to disrupt their rhythm. Do you do it with coverage, or do you do it with pressure? They elected to go with pressure, and it was the right call. And the attempt at three will have to come from the other end of the field as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Cincinnati. It's the Bengals in possession of the football and in possession of the lead as well as we start the fourth. And we'll begin it with a field goal try here. 
And this one, a 41-yard attempt. And Bullock will put this one through. And they will stretch the lead now to 17-3. So they settle for just the three. But clearly right now, anything helps trying to salt this one away in the fourth. Without a doubt, obviously a touchdown probably would have been the final nail to finish this thing off. But it's still eight up time, got points. So while it's not mission accomplished, it's darn close. After the field goal now, it's Bullock to kick it away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and they'll take over at the 25. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. And now the ball's loose. Smith loses it. And the Bengals grab it. And he is going to get this one back to the 20-yard line. Brandon, I don't want to violate any of our broadcasting rules by declaring a game over before it's over. But that one, that puts them in real jeopardy there. Absolutely. It was a two-possession game. It is a two-possession game at this stage in the fourth. They needed points out of that drive. And obviously now, no chance at all to get those points that they so desperately needed. So now the Bengal offensive unit back out onto the field. And last time they were able to churn some clock. They got the field goal, added onto their lead. But that was a drive that was so long, it should have ended in a touchdown. You know that's how they felt. And we'll both be headed to the airport after the game. But we probably should go to the post-game press conference because <laughs> someone's going to ask the head coach about this drive. And he's going to propose that he was happy to get points. But and we know it? that's not true. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. after this type of a drive, not getting a touchdown, a huge disappointment. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Sometime in this fourth quarter, someone on defense is going to have to step up and force a turnover. To throw on second down. Dalton. He can't avoid the pressure. Redskins get there. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. So the sack, and now it's third and long for Dalton and the Bengals. Dalton here from the gun. And this is going to be incomplete. Didn't have a receiver open downfield, and as it turned out, couldn't even find his outlet, man, because of the coverage. It's way too tight. Unable to find anyone open. And for the second time tonight, this field goal unit comes out here. This to make it a three-score game late. And Bullock will put this one through. And that'll push the lead up to 17. So with that, you figure yeah, this game's pretty much out of reach at this point. Yeah, it's going to take a heck of a comeback to come from three scores down. But don't change that channel. Don't go away. Miracles can happen, and you want to be here in case it does. You're a company man. Now, aren't I, though? The Redskins offense now, they get set to take over here. And the turnover last time, that's sort of been symptomatic of their struggles here in this one. Big word. I like it, though, yeah. because you're exactly you right. Like that, don't you? All game long, they've struggled moving the ball, turning it over on the last possession. Is that word again, symptomatic? Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Your analysis, symptomatic of the success of this broadcast. What I like is that you gave me the word, and I just kept using it. <laughs> On first down, Smith. Throw left side is complete to Reed. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. That throw good for four. It's second down. 
Decent start to the drive, but let's face it, they need a lot of things to go right in a short amount of time down three scores. Yeah, they're going to run their two-minute offense here in this game, but this is for future games. Can they get better and be ready for the next time, hopefully with a chance to win? Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. To throw on second down is Smith. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Darquez Denard there defensively. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden the secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. Throwing on third down, Smith. No chance to get away there for Smith as he goes down. Nick Vigil coming in to drop him for a loss of eight, and it'll be fourth down. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, and with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. Desperation time for Smith on fourth down. And this is incomplete. Darquez Denard there defensively. Well, at this stage of the game in the second half, down three scores, I guess they felt like they needed to push. And let's face it, with this deficit, if they give up another score here after they didn't get it, does it really matter? Right. It really doesn't. They had to go and try and make something happen if they had any chance of winning this game. Now the Cincinnati offense ready to see what they can do here. Been a very strong performance for them, really, on both sides of the football. The turnover on downs, the most recent example, and now, obviously, they're in a great spot here. Yeah, if you're over on the bench right now, you're shaking hands with your teammate, you're hugging him, give him a little dap, been a big, big performance performance for them. Now you just don't get careless. Take care of the ball the way out. Andy Dalton. Complete to the right side. It's Eifert. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. That throw good for four. It's second down. Time for a break. We're back to finish this one off after this. So the Bengals in possession of the football here as we get your reset. And you'd have to figure they're just looking to burn these final two minutes away and get out of here with a victory. Second down, here's Mixon. And he'll take this one down near the 15. Tackle made there by Mason Foster. We know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. Every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. He's got his man here, it's green. And he gets the first down yardage he needs before he's brought down at the six. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. There's nothing like getting out of the gate and finding your favorite target. Andy Dalton just did that with A.J. Green. And some people call that a nice fantasy football connection as well. Yeah, they're piling up the points that way, and they want to see that continue. Well, they probably don't need to run a play here, but you wonder if they're going to be able to resist on first and goal. They'll give it to Mixon, and he'll take this into the end zone for a Bengal TD. A great play there. A six-yard touchdown run. And the Bengals use the short field of their advantage as they cash in for six. And to me, that touchdown allows you to start grinning widely on your sideline. I think they pretty much locked this one away. Yeah, that's the clincher, the proverbial icing on the cake, if you will. Extra point up and good by Bullock. And the lead is now 24. Scoring summary. Three-play drive. And it all culminated in the touchdown run coming from Joe Mixon.
Bullock out now to kick this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take into next week? Yeah, sometimes teams want to do that and coaches want to. I remember one time I was on a team and we were losing late in a game like this and you knew it was lost. It was over, right? And the coach called a running play and pretty much said to everyone, I want to see something executed well before we get out of here. And that was the message to the team. Just something to build on. Just something to build on, get it done, and maybe we can look at that and say, we'll get better as we go forward. They're throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. And he was hit as he threw it. Down. It forces it incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. On second and 10, Smith completes it right side to Dodson. And they're going to get this one all the way out across the 45. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead as the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. So the offense takes the timeout, and they are back out and ready to rock. Smith now five straight completions here in this second half, first and ten. Smith on first down. And that is incomplete. Down to 15 seconds now. The linebacker Preston Brown there to knock that one away. If you're a defender, one of the fun things about playing zone defenses, especially in today's football, is that it's not as static as it was in the good old days, meaning you just dropped to a point and reacted to the football. Now you end up with a lot of man-to-man -man principles once you get into your zone defense. In other words, get to you. Looking for Crowder, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the Alabama man, Drake Kirkpatrick, and he brings it back to right around the 26-yard line. This spot in the fourth quarter with that deficit had to throw the football. Unfortunately, there's the risk of big turnover. And you know you're going to be throwing against nickel, dime, all sorts of exotic defenses, but you have to do it anyway. Ordinarily, you might want to run the football a little bit, try and get them out of it. But as you noted, this time of the game, this point on the clock, had to throw it. Down to a knee here. The defense still with a couple of timeouts. We'll see if they want to use them. And, Charles, I think when the schedule comes out, all teams, no matter where they're predicted to finish, talk about protecting your home turf. They were able to do that here in this one. Similar to a tennis match, right? Not letting them break your serve. That way you hold on to it. They got it done, and they feel very good about that victory. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. It's a win for the Bengals as we say so long from Cincinnati. Can I count it off? Oh, yeah.